Hello everyone, I speak in. So, um, a lot of people have actually said to me about getting rid of my weight and etc, cetera, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so we have to go back, um, probably four years ago, maybe five years ago. But first thing I did was, you have to remember, I had a lot of pain. And I mean, <laughs> pain. So my neck injury is to the point where um, certain parts of my neck is really painful all the time. Um, and then I used to have tremors, which my whole left side would just go really tense and really tight. And the same with my leg. So uh, my left side was always muscular than my right side but at the same time it felt like when I would have what do you want to call them a tremor an episode whatever it is um, whenever I had one they were about a half hour 15 minutes depending on so now fast forward okay so I managed to get it my um, pain to a point where I could at least walk and I say walk, I mean, yeah, maybe 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. And that is very slow walking. I mean, it would probably take me two hours to do this. Would probably take mm, half an hour. So that's how I started. Now, having a dog gets me out of the house. So having the dog got me to walk. Now, I had a lab before. Um, so I got myself down from 260 to 205 just by doing the walking of the dogs and everything. So now another problem is, well, it, well so I'm supposed to be gluten free. <clears throat> and when you are a single mom and everybody knows the struggles, it's very hard because it is very expensive to be gluten free. But I did try the best that I could. Now, most of the time, again, I did not want to be gluten-free. And so I would go to the food bank for her. And, of course, they give you all crap. They give you... There's nothing healthy about it. Um, but I did end up going on what they call a good food box, which is where you spend, I think it was $30 a month for the month of the summer. And they would give you all kinds of beautiful vegetables. So that kind of helped me get started. So, um, when somebody was saying to me, well, oh, my knees are sore, I can't do this, I can't do that, believe me, I know. So what I did was, is because I, because of my tremors and everything, I had a hard time walking. And even to this day, I still don't, even though I know I, I can't run properly, so, even to this day, it's not easy to walk around or anything like that. But what I did was in the beginning is I just put on some running shoes. I bought myself a pair of running shoes that I only wore in the house. Because that way I would not, A, get muddy stuff in my house. That's not good, man. But I got myself some really good running shoes. And then I got um, some insoles. Um... This is a while, like, we're talking 2006, probably. And all I did was I walked up and down my hallway. That way, I did not have to worry about falling. I did not have to worry about any of that. And do I look stupid? Who cares? Who's in the house to tell me that I look stupid? I'm doing exercises, and I'm looking after myself. And that's something that you can do for you. It takes time. I went from 200, okay, I was 260 pounds in 2004, but as time went on, so three years ago, I was 205 pounds, 203 pounds, three years ago. So when I moved into the place I'm now, I have a fabulous, fabulous mother-in-law to be. She's always going to be my mommy-in-law. I love her to bits. She makes the meals. Yes, I'm a spoiled little shit, and I love it. But she does the meals, and she was always making sure that I got gluten-free. So as soon as I was 
100% gluten free and we do not do dessert. Dessert uh, for special times, that's how we do it. And why not? And so, I mean, we only, Nancy only makes enough for all three of us to have a decent meal. And in the morning, uh, we would have um, yogurt and um, hemp seeds with it. So we get, you know, those little container things. And because it's keto, you can have 18% cream, which that's how it was. So you put in um, hemp seed because hemp seed is also protein and stuff like that. So now, in 2000, and so this is 2016, I also started marijuana, and marijuana is what helped me with my pain. I mean, it made a big difference, and now there's somebody coming up beside me, and she's going to say, what are you doing? Talking on your phone? Yep. So, anyway, <laughs> um, so, keto, keto, keto. So, then I was totally gluten-free. There was no way for me to, oops, because I can't afford it, or oops, because whatever. It was totally gluten-free, okay? So, I would still have a bag of chips at night. No, the weed does not make you have the hunger, as everybody says. It's just, you know, whatever it is. Um, some days I don't feel hungry, um, and it's just how it is. So... When I was totally gluten-free, I started to get rid of the weight. And being on the marijuana, the marijuana helped my pain, which means I could walk better, which means I could do things, which means I started running up and down the stairs, which means, guess what, that's going to help. So go start going up and down stairs. Start trying to do things for yourself. If you truly do not have any major physical pain, then just do yourself a favor. Just walk down to the door, walk back. Walk to the, to, okay, your mailbox is probably just outside your door. Give yourself a place to walk to. You know what, even if it's just, okay, I'm just going to go down to the corner and then back. Do little stuff like that. If you live in a survey, walk the survey. That's what I did. I had a dog. I have a dog. I have a dog. Um, so what I, I started out with a lab. <clears throat> Beautiful girl. Anyways, um, I used to live in a townhouse. So, uh, townhouse, um, yeah, a townhouse. So in the survey, what I wanted to say is I just walked in the survey. Technically, it probably would take somebody a good speed walk in 15, 20 minutes. It took me two hours because of her, because I would go after all her favorite neighbors, but at the same time, it got me moving, and it got me out. Yes, I was tired by the end of the, that time. Uh, sometimes I would have tremors, sometimes I'd have a nap, but who cares? I still did that little bit of exercise. Do yourself a favor. Do that little bit of exercise. Now, one thing I, I had to get rid of because I am... Um, I'm addicted to is bread and um, chips. In keto, you don't have potatoes or rice. So, potatoes. So, I still sometimes have a bag of chips, but it lasts me for the week, more or less. Um, and, um, yeah, so, a lot of things is just basically getting up off your butt <laughs> yeah but I also did stuff around like when I moved to Brantford it's, I'm living in a bigger area obviously it's I think about a, it's not quite an acre so there's lots to do around the house and I try and help as best as I can so I mean even with my physical limitations because yes I still have tremors yes I still have issues but is not it's very minimal <laughs> very minimal i mean i couldn't even talk without having tremors and stuff like that but do just get rid of the bread get rid of the potatoes and get rid of the rice and see how that goes there is a keto uh thing a chart that i have on my facebook that i have posted on my facebook um could be there. So if you're following me on Facebook, it will be there because I don't post much there anymore. 
Um, also, what else can I say? Drink lots of water. Drink, drink lots of water. It's one of my downfalls right now. So, like, I mean, it's already about 3 o'clock and I haven't even... I drink it. Problem is, I don't have a, a big one. <laughs> it doesn't work very well, I guess. Anyway, drink lots of water. Uh, if you don't have a dog and you are one of these people like me who can't get up off the butt or don't feel the motivation, as they say, get an accountable friend. Get an accountable friend because that way you both have to make yourself accountable. Um, my partner always says that when you have a dog, you've got to go out every night. So usually we go Mondays and Thursdays. We, we do a big walk with uh, Kimi and another and a, a beautiful husky with the neighbor. And we go around and we do a big, like on a trail. We're trying to get further and further, and we do this every night. And it's mostly for the dogs, but it also helps us too. See, the best thing to do also is, I find for me, is that when I try not to eat past 7, see, my supper is always at 6 o'clock. Majority of the time, my supper is at 6 o'clock. They say never to eat past 7. That's another thing that is probably a good thing that with me is that supper is usually on the table, usually on the table by six, whereas I never had supper on the table by six. It was bad, bad, bad that way. But I did know that I was supposed to always eat before seven. So maybe those are little things, little tidbits for everybody. Um, I love my body. I still have a way to go, believe it or not. I know people may look at me and say, what? No. I say, uh-uh. I say, I have a pooch. <laughs> We all know what those pooches are, and I want to get rid of the pooch. I don't like that it, um, I, ha I have incisions there and it gets very, um, it hurts a lot. So we don't want to have that. <coughs> Yay, talking to my phone. Um, so yeah, we don't want to have that. So I am trying to work on getting rid of the pooch. Uh, I've gotten rid of my, my butt. I don't know how I did that, but... Uh, that's the first I've always had a butt shelf but got rid of that it was it was almost like instantaneously I don't I was just doing things and I mean I went up to have a friend in North Bay or up north and I was working on their house for at least a month non-stop like it was constant physical work figure yourself out uh, it's like you know what lift a can of soup you know five pounds or whatever it is and every day Lift that for five times and then do the other hand five times. The next day, do it ten times and then that hand ten times. You know, a once a week. So for one week, strip a can five times. Five times. Ding, you're done. Look at that. Then the next day, five times, do the same thing. Do that for a week. Then the next week, get something at ten pounds. And do the same thing. Figure things out that are in your house that you can use that helps you. Even if you have to weigh that. So what? So if you have to weigh a water bottle to find out whether it is 10 or 15 pounds. Like, I mean, hello. <laughs> I tell you, when, uh, because of my tremors, which is this hand here, after, after I did the, the, um, sorry, I have a, it, it, it laps, the run, the girl run, that's it, the mud race. Well, after I did the mud race, is it still there? I don't know if, it, yeah, you can see it a bit. <laughs> um, after I did the mud race, or while I was doing the mud race, I should say, because of my tremors and they, you know, they keep me, they, you know, it, it forms muscles. The next day, my left side didn't feel no pain, it was feeling great, my right side, Yikes, so that told me how out of shape my right side is. Ding. Ow. Another thing I noticed, and you know, I I always had have powerful legs. I mean, I've always had them. I don't know whether but because of my dancing and hockey and 
ballet and tap. I mean, I did it all growing up and always loved dancing and always be um, dancing. So, one thing is, I've noticed, is I've been having trouble with my legs. And one thing is, is I have scars on my the thigh, um, whatever, these things, th- this is the thigh, right? That's the thigh. So my incisions are here and here, okay? So I noticed that when I'm trying to pull myself up, using my legs, I can't do it. And I don't, and I, was, I always thought, well, why? Because my legs are very strong. I mean, I have strong legs. And it has something to do with the incision. So now I'm curious. Is it really tendons that they cut or is it the muscles that they cut? Don't know. Off topic because I'm an Asperger's and that's what we do. So, anything in the house. Walk around. Even if it's in the hallway. Walk up and down the hallway 10 times a day for a week. And then the next time, 20 times a day for a week. Accountable yourself. Set an alarm on your on your phone or whatever it is that you use. Set an alarm every day the same time. That was a routine. Get yourself into a routine. And then it always will be easier for you as you do it. Those are the things I can say to you. I um, honestly don't know what else. The only thing I can honestly say is that because I am gluten-free 95% of the time, 90% of the time, I'm gluten-free. So, plus not having potatoes and, and, well, I haven't had rice in who knows how long. Uh, Maybe potatoes. Well, like I said, I have a little bit of potato chip. But I'm talking like meals. I probably have maybe one meal a week with potatoes. Maybe two. That's pushing it. But majority of the time it's one. She's panting. Are you waiting for Anna? So, um, yeah. If there's anything else I can help you folks out with or any questions you want to know, I'll try (laughs) try and answer them. Um, also, I've gone through a lot of stress, too, and I know that stress causes, like for me, um, I'm the opposite, whereas a lot of people, when they get stressed out, they eat. Uh, sometimes, yes, that works for me, but other times, no, uh, so that could be, too. I don't know, but I always have a meal, a proper meal, and usually yogurt with, um, with, uh, <sighs> hemp seeds. So, anyway, I'm not sure what else to say. Just keep moving forward. Keep going. Keep moving. Moving, moving, moving works for you. You know what else I did? Is I love dancing. And so what I would do is put on some videos, music, and just dance. And so what if I would balance off? <laughs> but dancing is one of my other things. Which, of course, you know, if you really boogie, woogie, woogie in those two minutes. That's two minutes of boogie, woogie, woogie. Of two minutes of sweating. That's two minutes of burning fat. That's two minutes of you didn't have before. So, try putting on music and dance your heart out. Who cares who sees you? Or if you're in your house, nobody's going to see you. Go for it. Put on that music. Go for it. And you know what I mean, right? No, listen to Sunwheel. He's, <laughs> he's got that. Shut the fuck up. That's the name of the song, people. Actually, it's not the name of the song, but it has that in there. Do what makes you feel good. Anytime you are happy, that's when things start to go better for you. Dancing makes me happy. Nature makes me happy. And videos apparently makes me happy. I never knew. I was doing unique in the videos and I really liked doing that and I missed it. Very interesting. Didn't do very well at unique but who knows. (laughs) Who knows. Anyway. um, If that's everything. That's anything. That's all I can give you. I do still want to probably get rid of 15 pounds. I do have some pooches um, that my thighs are really... I probably have at least 10 pounds per thigh. Probably maybe not that much, but it does feel that. And the pooch. 
I want to be able to have it so that my stomach is flatter and not having to, it, I don't like part of my front, the underwear digging in. It really, really, really hurts. I have two incisions there. They pretty much put the incisions on top of each other. So that in itself is very, very painful. So those are the things I'm working on right now. So how I'm doing it is I am um, taking marijuana for my pain, which is in an oil, oil pill form. Yeah, oil pill form is what I'm doing. And that really helps because it's throughout the body and you're not smoking so it's saving on your lungs and all that other stuff. Plus, that's helping me move, which means when I move, you get right away. You keep moving. So, keep moving. Keep doing things for you. You know, I know people when you get home from work and then you can't, uh, well, try and do something. Even if it's after work, after you come home and you have a your supper, um, have a shower. Freshen yourself up. You know, sometimes when you have a nice hot shower and it's like right on. Or if, if your body's saying you can go to sleep, then go to sleep. That's one thing. Um, you know, marijuana has also, if, it, if your body says you're tired, then go lay down. Your body is always telling you what it wants. And the problem is, is because we're always on the go, on the go, on the go, we don't listen to what our body says. So if your body says you're tired and you need to lay down, go lay down. It probably needs to heal. If your body's saying, I gotta get going, then get up off your buttocks and do something. Whatever it is, do something that makes you happy. I go to the river, the river makes me happy. Any kind of water form makes me happy. I always drive home the riverside, because the riverside is what makes me happy. Water, wildlife makes me happy. So I try and take countryside homes if I, if I, as long as I have time, I try and take countryside to where I'm going. That way it's kind of like less stress. Try and build yourself less stress. It works. The more stress you have, the worse it gets. So figure stuff out for yourself. Take time to listen to you. It's not easy. I know it's not. I am 53 and still learning. <laughs> well, I will be 50. I'll be 53 in some odd days. Sometime this month I'm 53. Just take your time. Try to figure out what it is, you know. I mean, obviously we're not going to be happy 24-7 and sorry I'm playing with this thing that that's an uh, Asperger's thing or an ADHD thing. <laughs> Just listen to your body. Listen to your brain, your mind. And if you say, well, I don't know what I want to do, oh, no, believe me, I know that too. But I do know that nature and water makes me happy. So that's what I try to do. I did try to do the wildlife thing, and then I found out that I was going to have to take um, uh, rabies shots. Well, if you know me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you know I can do it. I'm allergic to uh, hormones and other things, uh, so I don't want to take a chance on taking needles for rabies. Otherwise, I'd be in there like a dirty shit. I'd be really wanting to do that. Um, yeah, if I had the money, I'd probably do foster care. Because we like to have a, have a good time. <laughs> um, so that's, that's another thing. I love animals, so I do have um, animals around me. However, I am allergic to the majority of the animals. Blah, blah. But you still do what you do. You try and find something that makes you happy. Whether it's singing at the top of your lungs and who the hell cares who hears you. Whether it's dancing or having a blast or whether it's just taking a ride in the countryside. And if you tell me you don't have enough gas money and you can't do that, then walk. Take the bus to your favorite place and just walk there. Or if you can find a friend that has a country place, then you could walk together with them. There's all these options. There is always options. Everywhere we look, everywhere we go, there's things that we can do to help ourselves. Jug of water, <sighs> 10 pounds, I don't know how many pounds this is, but it's heavy. And it doesn't work, but I'm wetting my lips. 
most important thing now. Do what makes you happy. And remember, guys, not every day is going to be a happy day. Not every day is going to be the greatest day. It's just the facts of life. Just try and do what you do. can for you. You know, like right now, I'm sitting in my car because my daughter is in a doctor's appointment. But seeing her, even though if I'm just seeing her from her place to the doctor's appointment, which is about an hour, 45 minutes away, so that's good. You know, and sometimes we put the music on, we just have a blast singing, or sometimes we just talk. And that's even wonderful, too. And the fact that she's opening up to me makes me more happier, and that means she's more happier. And it's just... <sighs> yeah, so I'm happy. <laughs> just try and figure things out. And you know what's funny is that everybody usually knows what doesn't make them happy, but they never know what makes them happy. So always try and remember when you're doing things and then you say, oh, this feels good. Remember what that was and do it. And do it for yourself because that will also help contribute to your weight just diminishing. One thing I learned is you can try not to say weight loss because whenever you say weight loss, your um, loss to me means I'm going to find it. I don't want to find it. I want to get rid of it. I want to diminish it. I want to crush it. We don't want that weight ever again, people. So never say that. Don't say I lost it because we don't want to find it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, I got rid of it, man. I got rid of you. I got rid of that weight. I got rid of it all. Oh. Have a wonder. Oh, yeah. See, I normally wear t-shirts. So I'm trying. Uh, a wonderful lady, neighbor, gave me these shirt. And thanks, Gail. Yeah, I'll admit it looks nice on me. I love my t-shirt. I'm a tomboy. I like doing stuff like that. Anyway, have a wonderful day, people. And I am going to try and do more videos. I got videos on a com my computer that I'm trying to get my butt down and do video editing. I don't video edit. I don't video, video edit at all because I want to show people that I am who I am and if I make mistakes it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to be who I am and this is who I am and if I were to make the most it just makes it too fake to me you know what I mean and then you can see all the cut and it's, and it's like why did you cut that out what did you you know, this is who I am this is me so yeah again keto keto try the ketos I'll just cut out the potatoes and rice. Okie dokie. Aspie. Out. Take care. Have a good day.